The family of two people involved in a murder-suicide in North Austin are making a plea to others tonight. They say always check in with your loved ones and pay attention to their mental health. This after officers responded to a home on Bodgers Drive this week for a welfare check. That's where they found the bodies of Carrie Rodriguez and Moises Pita Rodriguez. KXAN's Jennifer Sanders has more on what happened. He's letting me know. Kelly Hobbs and Lori McElroy just finished writing their younger sister Carrie's eulogy. I haven't got another angel yes. this week, and unfortunately, we're going to miss her terribly. I know we're heartbroken. The tears haven't stopped falling since Monday. That's when Kelly got a call to pick up Carrie's daughter from school. She says when she drove to Carrie's home here on Bodgers Drive, she saw Carrie's car and her husband's car in the driveway and immediately knew something wasn't right. She went inside and knocked on their bedroom door. I said, I'm getting worried, guys. I'm going to have to call the police. Please open the door. Police came. They found Carrie shot to death in her bedroom. They say her husband, Moises, had a gunshot wound as well. His death deemed a suicide. And I'm never going to let this define who yeah. he was and how, how they were. You know, we're going to remember them. They say Carrie's love of music and their collective love for family and kindness towards others is what they'll remember most. She was such a loving mother, and she would uh, do anything for her kids. My brother-in-law was the nicest, kindest person. He was always helping us and other family members. And now they're two children, a high schooler and a kindergartner will have to navigate life without their parents. Although the sisters don't have all the answers, their message is to always pay close attention to your family's mental health. If you have a family member and you know that they're struggling, maybe just take a little extra time to talk to them and, and, and try to help them in the best way that you can so that nothing like this happens. Jennifer Sanders, KXAN News. The Central Texas chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Health has free mental health resources they can provide help and hope to people of all ages right here in our area. We have a link to their website in the top story section at KXAN.com. Going in depth on this tough topic, statistics from the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence show 72% of all murder suicides involve an intimate partner. 94% of the victims of these murder suicides are female. The presence of a gun in a domestic violence situation increases the risk of homicide by 500%. Studies also suggest there is a relationship between intimate partner violence and depression and suicidal behavior.